In today's video, we're going to talk about a powerful tool called CUP, which stands for Common User Password Profiler. It's widely used in password cracking and cybersecurity. So let's dive right in. What is CUP? CUP's a tool used to generate custom password lists based on personal information. This tool is used by both cybersecurity pros and hackers to gather info about a person and predict possible password combos. With the help of CUP, you can generate a list of passwords by entering details about your target, like their name, birthday, pet name, favorite color, and more. How to install CUP. So friends, now let's see how we can install CUP on a Debian-based system. You can easily install CUP by using the following command. sudo app install cup. If cup's not installing through app, you can also download it from GitHub. To do this, you gotta install git first. You can install git by using this command, sudo apt install git. Friends, go ahead and use this command to download the cup tool right now. Git clone and then paste the URL here. I've also dropped this link in the description box for you, so it's super easy to grab. This command's gonna download the source code of cup to your system. Now to run cup, we need to navigate to the cup directory. We'll use this command cd cup. Friends, cup's a Python script, so we also need Python installed. For this, we'll use the following command, sudo apt install python3. Now to run cup, we use this command, python3cup.py. Friends, as you can see, our cup tools successfully launched and we can start using it. The first mode in cup is the interactive mode, which is super useful. In interactive mode, we need to provide some personal info about our target. To use this mode, enter the following command, python3cup.py-9. In this mode, cup will ask for info step-by-step -step and generate a password list based on the details you give. Friends, here you gotta enter info according to your target. Now, if you want to add custom words to your password list, you can enter them one by one. The tool will also ask whether you want to include special characters in your password list. Simply select yes if you do. If you also want to add random numbers, you can choose yes here as well. Friends Cup also provides a feature called Elite Mode. This mode lets us replace letters with numbers or symbols, making the password harder to guess. For example, in elite mode, the word leet can be written as L33T, where letters are replaced with numbers. Some people prefer such passwords because they're harder to crack. After running this mode, CUP generates a password list file. Here, our target word list can be generated using the target's name. This file contains all possible passwords and is saved in the same folder. To see the password list inside the file, use catjohn.txt. The next mode in CUP is the predefined word list mode, denoted by the hyphen W flag. To use this mode, we first gotta create a custom word list file. By using predefined word list mode, CUP generates a large password list with all possible combos. So let's create a predefined password list. First, create a new text file using the touch command, touchtarget.txt. Now edit this file and add important details about the target using nano, nanotarget.txt. Here, you can add any important words related to the target that you want to include in the password list. To save the file, press Ctrl plus X, then press Y and hit Enter. Now to generate a password list using this file, run python3 cup.py-wtarget.txt. Cup will now generate a long password list based on the words in your file. To view the contents of the file, use cattarget.txt. Friends, the next mode is common password list mode, which lets us download a huge pre-existing password list from CUP's repository. To do this, simply use python3cup.py-l. As soon as you enter this, you'll see multiple password list options. Just enter the number of the list you want to download.
All these files are compressed.gz files. You can either extract them manually or use this command to view their contents. Zatcat file name dot gz. The next mode is username and password mode, which lets us download a large list of default usernames and passwords used in different systems. To access it, run python3 cup.py hyphen a. This mode lets us download common usernames and commonly used passwords from ElectoDB. ElectoDB is a project that combines and cleans up databases from Phenolit and CIRT, making them way more efficient for password profiling. The hyphen V or double hyphen version displays the version of CUP. And finally, hyphen Q mode or quiet mode runs CUP without showing prompts or output messages. This is useful when automating password list generation without user interaction. Friends, for more ethical hacking and cybersecurity videos, don't forget to subscribe.